Welcome back to Valley Life. I'm Alicia Safias. You know, having the same old meals over and over every holiday, well, it can get a little boring. And if you're looking to make things a little less traditional and more rock and roll, well, this is a woman to help us. Celebrity chef Nadia G joins us now to help us spice things up. Absolutely. Um, see, this is the thing with the holidays. It's a lot of fun, but people get really stressed out. They're like, oh man, I have a bunch of people coming over. I don't know what to make. And then, you know, they, they decide they're going to make a 30 pound turkey when they can barely fry an egg. And it's like, no, don't do it. Uh, what you want to do is keep your menu simple, delicious, but at the same time, give yourself some, some moments to actually enjoy the party so you're not stuck in, in slaving away in the kitchen all day. So what I've done is I've created a spread that, that does just that. It tastes great at room temperature, it's gonna impress your guests, and most importantly, give you some time to actually have some fun. We're gonna kick things off with a prosciutto crostini. Basically, what we've got here is a crostini that's been slathered with creamy goat cheese, a slice of fresh sweet pear, topped it off with some salty prosciutto and drizzled it with a sweet and tangy balsamic reduction. Now, these suckers pack a lot of flavor, yet so simple to make, and they pair perfectly with apothic white. Now, this wine is very fresh. You've got notes of pineapple in there, the subtle flavors of peanut, peach, which works really well with the fruit and the crostini, and of course is, is a nice contrast uh, with the saltiness of the prosciutto. For the main, uh, I've got chicken skewers, but they're not just any old chicken skewer. I've slathered these babies with walnut pesto. So, so that's a thing, you know, you take something like pesto, which is traditionally made with pine nuts, and kind of give it, give it a different spin. I've used walnuts instead. Um, it, the walnuts have a nice, robust flavor. And this dish pairs really, really well with a pothic red. In this wine, you've got the bold flavors of, of of, uh, of, of Cabernet in there, Merlot, it's a nice blend, and you've got the subtle notes of mocha, vanilla. Here's the thing when it comes uh, to pairing f wine with foods. There's only one very simple thing to remember. Just match flavor intensities, okay? So here we've got a robust pesto with the walnuts. Boom, pair that up with a bold red wine. You've got a lighter crostini going, pair that up with a fresh, lighter wine. For dessert, now you don't want to drive yourself crazy baking cakes. You you know, for lots of people, baking can be a real nightmare. So I've created a no bake dessert that's so so good. French chocolate mousse shooters. Now I know what you're thinking to yourself, chocolate mousse, it's so complicated to make. In fact, it's one of the simplest desserts you'll ever make. You whip up some egg whites, whip them into meringues, melt some dark chocolate, fold those two things together, pop them in a shooter glass, into the fridge they go for a couple of hours to set, and you've got a traditional French chocolate mousse. I've sprinkled mine with a little bit of fleur de sel, that's a fancy sea salt, you could use regular sea salt if that's what you have, and a little bit of cayenne pepper for a kick. So again, it's all about big flavors. You've got the dark chocolate mousse, the spice from the, the cayenne pepper, a little bit of salt in there, and what a lot of people don't know is that dark chocolate tastes fantastic with red wine. Um, again, in the apothic red, you've got that mocha flavor, that woodsy aroma, and the flavor Flavor intensity matches because dark chocolate is, is really kind of, you know, woo! <laughs> so the red wine uh, goes so, so well with it. And so there you have it, a very, very simple spread, but you know, your guests are gonna be wowed by it. And especially when you pair your dishes with wines, it makes it really feel thought through. Uh, it gives your guests a, a real decadent experience. So for this holiday season, don't drive yourself crazy, just create a bitchin' buffet. Um, you can find all these recipes and more at facebook.com slash apothicwine. And you can check my show out, uh, Bitchin' Kitchen, on Cooking Channel every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Well, you definitely haven't disappointed us, and I learned a lot because I normally would pair chicken with white wine, and really we need to be looking for the flavors, right? 
Exactly, exactly. So, you know, chicken sometimes can be a little bit more subtle, but once you've, you know, slathered it with this delicious walnut pesto, you've got the toasted walnut, the parmesan, these are big flavors. The basil, go with a big wine, red. And the last thing, I think everyone in the world right now, and especially anyone watching, really wants to be invited to your holiday <laughs> celebration because I know it's a party. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you're more than welcome to come to my <laughs> holiday party as long as you sing karaoke. Okay, we definitely will. Thank you so much, Nadia G. We love watching your show, and we really appreciate it here in Fresno. My pleasure. Happy holidays, Fresno. Happy holidays, and Valley Life will be right back.